You're a private investigator? Just 20 bucks in there, all right? Just take it. No, I told you. I'm not here for that. My messenger. Give me your left arm. No! Yeah, come on. No! When you're talking to your doctor, no! you tell him you have a spiral fracture. No! Deep breath. No! Yeah! Although they get off to a rough start, Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe's characters end up working together. The dark comedy The Nice Guys is set in 1970s LA, and it seems like it's something very different from the usual fare hitting theaters these days. I think probably in this environment that we've sort of uh, built over the last few years with these gigantic tempole films and, you know, Captain This and Super That, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, there's a sort of a, a really basic visceral brutality in this film, which comes from the fact that, you know, if we're saying a car goes through a building, that's an actual car going through a building, you know? And we're, the sort of CGI aspect is not used at all in this movie, so um, I think, you know, and it feels fresh to people because they're sort of used to being seen this sort of half cartoon action, you know? Don't get upset, I'm not here to hurt you. I just wanna ask you a question. Hey, no. How stupid do you think I am? Ever since your little visit the other day, this little baby's gonna stay right here. Together, the mismatched duo investigate the disappearance of a missing woman named Amelia, only to stumble upon a criminal conspiracy. In the film, the two meet for the first time in that painful way we saw earlier. In real life, they didn't know each other that well either before shooting started which actually helped. Because these characters really meet in the film, you know? And so we had an awareness of each other. We met a few times, but we really didn't know each other. And we really got to know each other on this film. And, and sort of in that first in the conversation same, uh, that, we ha that we had, he was very charming and very funny. So, uh, you know, it, just, it was very easy for me to extrapolate that if we did work together, we'd get on. I thought he was calling well. me to confront me about stealing all of his, all of his stuff for the last, for my whole career. And, and he thought that was funny. He took that as a joke, so I was like happy that that went that way. Could have gone another. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, God. The Nice Guys is written and directed by Shane Black, who also wrote the scripts for the Lethal Weapon films. He allowed Russell and Ryan to do a lot of improvising on set, which made the scenes even funnier than they were in the original script. I think Shane gets bored easy, you know? Which so is he, good for us. It's great for us. Yeah. So we would do it that way first, and then, I, you know, they'd immediately just sort of say, okay, you know, like, well, what, what else is in there? So we were always chumming the waters to see what else was there, and they were, they were happy uh, to let us do that, and, and I think we found some... Well, we had a lucky thing, you know, and so there was already great characters there and the dynamic was already really funny and interesting. My God, they worked on the script for 15 years. You seen this girl? She's got dark hair, Her name's Amelia. Who said it for me? He'll stop doing it. Doing what? Like. No! That? I don't think I ever actually heard him say the word no to an idea. You know, he was always open to whatever we came up with. We both love our job. We're both really passionate about our job. So we're gonna think about it, you know, beforehand. And we're gonna process things. So when we come to talk about something we're about to shoot, we have a lot of ideas and a lot of input. And I think that he just really, on a fundamental writerly level, really appreciated that we were that passionate about his work. One thing we know for sure, something funny's going on. Check out Nice Guys, Ryan Gosling, and Russell Crowe in a cinema near you. Look at the bright side. Nobody got hurt. People got hurt. I'm saying I think they died quickly, though, so I don't think that they got hurt.